In this video, we are going to learn about the muscles of the arm. So in between the shoulder joint and the elbow joint lies your arm, which is also called brachium. So the brachium contains muscles in two different compartments, those in front of the arm or the anterior compartment and those behind the arm or the posterior compartment. The muscles present in the anterior compartment is responsible for the flexion at elbow joint and the muscles present behind the arm are responsible for the extension at elbow joint. Okay, first let's look at the muscles in front of the arm. So in the anterior compartment, there are three major muscles that you need to know. Number one, biceps brachii, number two, brachialis, and number three, coracobrachialis. First, biceps brachii. Biceps brachii contains two heads, a short head and a long head. You can palpate the rays in between these two heads by pressing somewhere in between the biceps muscle. So right here, you can palpate the ridge. So here's the short head present medially and then there's the long head. There's the long head present laterally again in flex position. There's the short head present medially and then there's the long head that is present laterally. The long head of the biceps brachii muscle originates at supraglenoid tubercle and the tendon passes through the bicipital group of humerus. The short head of biceps brachii muscle originates at the coracoid process of scapula. The biceps brachii muscle, the belly inserts with the help of a tendon on the radial tuberosity. Okay, now functions. See, when biceps brachii muscle contracts, it lifts the radius up. As a result, flexion at elbow joint occurs. Okay. Number two. See, keep your forearm in pronated condition at a 90 degree flexed angle. Right? Now, supinate your forearm. When you supinate your forearm, you will be able to visualize a contraction in your biceps muscle. Another way. Flex your biceps like bodybuilders do, like this, okay. Now, pronate it, supinate it, pronate it, supinate it. When you supinate your forearm, you will be able to feel or visualize a contraction in your biceps muscle. This says that biceps muscle is also responsible for supination of forearm. Next, next. Since biceps muscle has origin at shoulder joint, when you flex shoulder joint, the biceps muscle is involved as well. So during initial stage of flexion of shoulder joint, biceps muscle is activated. So what are the functions of biceps muscle? Three functions. Number one, flexion at elbow joint. Number two, supination of forearm. And number three, initial stage of flexion of shoulder joint. All right, biceps muscle done. Then you have your coracobrachialis muscle, which has its origin at coracoid process of scapula. And then there's brachialis muscle. See, brachialis muscle, it inserts in ulna. Remember, it inserts in ulna. What's the significance? When brachialis muscle contracts, it lifts ulna up. When biceps brachii muscle contracts, it lifts radius up. As a result, the whole forearm gets lifted up and flexion at elbow joint occurs. Second thing, during supination and pronation, during supination and pronation, it is the radius that moves over ulna. The ulna, it stays in its position. This means that brachial, brachialis muscle, which is inserted in ulna, is not responsible for supination as ulna does not move during supination. Done? All right. So that, those were the muscles in front of the arm. Now, innervation. The muscles of the anterior compartment of brachium is supplied by musculocutaneous nerve, which is a continuation of the lateral cord of brachial plexus. So the lateral cord gives three branches, L, M, L, where M stands for, M stands for musculocutaneous nerve. The musculocutaneous nerve, it pierces through the coracobrachialis, then gives two branches, one to biceps brachii, and another to brachialis muscle. All right, now for the muscles present at the back of the arm. So in the posterior compartment, only one single muscle is present, that is triceps brachii, 
which has three heads. So uh, in someone who has a well-developed triceps, you will be able to visualize something like this. It, it is not clear on my arm, but I'll put a picture where it is properly or clearly visible. So when triceps is, it is contracted, a horseshoe shape is possible, is visible. At this reason, you can look at the three, the two heads of the triceps, the long head. So this is the long head of the triceps, the long head of the triceps, and then the lateral head. So this is the lateral head of the tricep deep to the long head of the triceps and the lateral head of the tricep lies the medial head. So how many heads are there? There are three heads. There's the long head, the lateral head and the medial head. All three heads have different origins. So the long head, the long head originates from infraglenoid tubercle of scapula. The lateral head, the lateral head originates from just above the radial group present behind the humerus. So behind the humerus, there's a spiral group, spiral group or a radial group from where along which the radial nerve passes. Just above that is the origin for the lateral head of triceps. And just below the groove is the origin for the medial head of triceps. So then there's the belly of the triceps, a common tendon. So when you flex it, you can, you can feel a flat surface present right here. That flat surface at the horseshoe structure, near the horseshoe structure, there's the horseshoe structure and then the flat surface. This flat surface contains the flat tendon of the triceps, which inserts behind the ulna, where in the posterior surface of the olecranon process of ulna. That's why when triceps muscle contracts, it pulls down the ulna and extension at elbow joint occurs. So what is the nerve supplying them? Behind the arm, as well as behind the forearm, the whole thing is supplied by the radial nerve, which is an extension of the posterior, the posterior cord of brachial plexus. So it is supplied by the radial nerve. And that's it for the muscles of your arm or brachium. Next time, we're going to look at the muscles of your forearm.